Okay, how's it going everyone? It's Ollie Lindley here from One Number, and today we're gonna to take a look at the split and custom split functionality in Tableau. You might have worked with text to columns in Excel. You know, just the functionality that allows you to split string values from a single column. But while sometimes kind of crossing over from Excel into Tableau can be a little bit weird, you know how to do things so intuitively in Excel, and now you gotta almost learn it all over again. So I wanna kind of walk you through this functionality just super basically and then, you know, if there's some more advanced questions that we might have, feel free to pop them down in the chat. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. But here's the basic idea, right? We're looking at these full names for our customers. So you can see we've got a first and a last name all the way down. Now, suppose we just want a first name and a surname. How do we actually go about doing that? Well, there's no sort of complicated uh, calculated field that we might need to build in order to do that, we can just right click on the field that we want to split, go down to transform and click on split. Now split is just the default split, right? Tableau just applies the logic and breaks it up. So let's see what it's done. And then we'll kind of work out exactly how this works. So okay, we've got full name split one, which is down here and full name split two. So we can see that what Tableau has done in this split is it's looked at our full name column and it's gone, okay, I can see there's a pattern, you know, there's one, there's a sort of a string then there's a space, which I guess is still part of the string, but there's a space and then there are more characters, probably a better way of putting it. So what if we just separate the first group of characters from the second group of characters? So it's using the space as, you know, the identifier of where to split. So that is called the delimiter. What, what are we using to split? The two columns you know and we'll take a look at that in a little bit more detail um, in a little bit let's look at another example okay so here is uh, you know the list of corresponding email addresses so if we wanted to split this what would we be trying to pull well maybe we want to know hey what email domains are our clients using so what we could do let's repeat this email address right click transform let's split again so tableau is actually nailed this it's got it's given us email address in brackets it hasn't put split one it's just said domain so it's actually kind of beaten us to it and then here's our username which is super cool so what if we take off the email address field we've got all our domains here and we can kind of count our ids or something uh let's do a count distinct of our ids and see what email domains are people using most commonly have signed up for our products or whatever it would be. So that's pretty cool. But I think something that is probably a little bit more helpful or advanced is the custom split functionality. So why it's so useful is with split, you're kind of just relying on Tableau to split everything off automatically. However, Tableau does give you the ability to, to what's called custom split, just gives you a little bit more control over how you're gonna split this thing out. So here's what we could do, right? We've got this phone number field and we might wanna split this so we can look at the area code uh, that's not connected to the rest of the number. We could do this in two ways. One, we take the phone number, we go down to transform, we split it. Now we've got three fields, one, two, and three. I'm guessing one is gonna be the area code. We pop that in and we can see, yes, absolutely. Phone number split one is the area code. Okay, so that's fine. We can do that. However, what happens if your string field is not just sort of three parts? You know, what if it's 10 parts, 15 parts, or 20 parts? Well, relying on that split functionality is gonna now give you 20 fields. And that's completely overwhelming if you need the 14th field, you know, whatever it might be for your column. So here's where we might use a, a custom split. So let's go back to that phone number. Let's right click, transform, custom split, okay? Now, do you remember how I was explaining in the full name field that the separator or the delimiter was the space? Well, here, the thing that we're gonna to use to kind of differentiate our three columns, one from the next, is actually gonna be this uh, dash, right? So we're just gonna say, use the separator dash. And now I've got the option to split off a certain number of columns, right? So at the moment, it's just one, a certain number of columns from the first or the last, <clears throat> or all. First would just mean, split off the first one column is gonna return this number. If I split off the 
last one column, it's going to be that, you know, and the first two columns, obviously, is going to include both of those. So we can kind of play around with that a little bit, but let's hit OK. Now we've just got one new field that's been generated, not three. We'll drag it in and there's our area code. <clears throat> okay, that's brilliant. So that kind of solves that problem. If you don't want multiple columns or multiple new fields out of a split, what happens? I guess the cool thing we can do with this right now is that this is actually a, you know, an area code. So if I change to a geographic role area code, drop this on detail, Tableau's gonna freak out a little bit because it thinks that these are all in South Africa because that's where my copy of Tableau is set to. But if I change that to the USA, we can now kind of count the number of clients that we have coming from the various regions of the US. So let's see that. Cool, very nice. Maybe we copy this onto size just to be super clear. Okay, so that's very cool. I think the last thing that I wanna show you at this point is just that you can kind of open up one of these uh, split calculations to really get into the weeds a little bit more. So for instance, if we take this phone number, hmm, let's actually start a new one just to get really clear with what we're looking at. So phone number, let's put our little split one up here and let's right click and edit this. So this is a calculated field and we can see what's going on inside. So we can see Tableau, here's the split. Okay, let's start here. Split what field? Split the phone number field at this separator or delimiter, write the dash, and the first column is the one that we want, at the first dash. Uh, then that's wrapped in the trim function. The trim function just makes sure there are no leading or trailing spaces. So it's, it's kind of like just a safe one to wrap your functions in. I just wanna point out that this little one is something that we can tinker with to really identify the right column. So if we change that to two, this is now that six, nine, five, right? The middle column. And if we change that to three, that's 2071. So Tableau's kind of counting up this way, right, from left to right. However, you can just swap this to the last. You remember we said split off the first one column. This can now be the last one column, right, by just inverting it. So just say minus one. And now notice nothing changed. So three, in our case, would be the same as minus one, right? Are you moving left to right? Are you moving right to left? And we can change that to minus two to give us the middle one. And lastly, we can say minus three to give us that area code again. So it's super useful. There's so many instances in where you can use this little split function. It's really, really helpful. If you wanna learn more about functions like this, uh, why not come along to one of our classes? We've got some super cool classes coming up uh, over the summer, and we'd love to see you there if this interests you at all. If you have any sort of custom questions, feel free to pop them in the, the uh, comments section below. We always do our best to get back to you as soon as we can. And if, I'm trying to remember if there's anything that I've left out. I don't think so. If there are any other kind of topics or questions that you want us to cover, let us know too. We always appreciate your feedback. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us. Hope this has been helpful.